Morning everyone, joined by David at Euroa. Time to take a look at runners on Saturday. Uh, over in Adelaide we have the one runner and the race six is the two year old, Masha here. We expect him to improve, he's got the winkers on. Uh, things went a bit wrong for him the other day. Got caught up in a slow tempo race. I think he'll jump better and be much more competitive. Up to Randwick on Saturday. The third race is the group two Riesling Stakes for the two year olds over the 1200. Ennis Hill, Kieran McAvoy. Things didn't go right for her in the um, Blue Diamond. Uh, but the smaller field, I think there'll be a lot less pressure. She'll be able to sit up on the pace, get into a rhythm, and um, hopefully uh, put a hand up for the Golden Sliver. Race six is the Group 1 Canterbury Stakes, over 1,300 metres. A couple of runners. The first is Darren for Josh Parr. Yeah, we sent him up there because there's been a bit of rain in Sydney earlier in the week. And I think 1,300 is probably his ideal distance. He'll be ridden patiently and produced late. And we also have Tulip from Gate 2 with Jason Collett. You can see her getting a beautiful run from this gate. Um, in form, ran her career best race at Randwick in the um, Everest. And I really feel that uh, she'll be competitive. And in race 8, which is the Group 3 over 1200, we've got Miss Gunpowder for Glenn Schofield, Gate 4. Yes, she's drawn ideally. Um, she worked too hard the first part of the race the other day. I think she's really improved and bounced off it. So, competitive run expected. Back to Flemington in the opening event over a thousand metres. First run for the stable, Bull Pit for Regan Bayless. Yeah, we've got him fresh. Um, he, he seems a horse that is suited by the straight, so um, we're learning with him and hopefully he can be competitive. Uh, race two, over the 1800 metres, a couple of runners. The first is Sin to Win, Regan Bayless Gate 1. Tricky gate for him, but Perfect race, uh, should run well. And second up from a spell, bullish stock for Jamie Carr. This horse won at this track and distance at this stage of his prep last time. So he could run a good race at huge odds, but probably going to be better over more ground. In race four, which is the group two size produce stakes over the 1400, a couple of runners, a Sebra 8, Damien Oliver. Yeah, got an awkward gait. Ollie will probably ride a patient race and come down the outside. Uh, Ran a great race in the Blue Diamond Prelude. And we also have Nassay in for Regan Bayless, drawn better in gate two. Yeah, narrow winner last start. Um, I can just see her um, sitting right on the pace and making her own luck and very hard to beat. Race five is the Group 2 CUNY Stakes, over 1,400. Shakora, Andrew Mellion. Uh, yeah, it was one of the runs of the day last start. Um, the format of that race is fantastic and she'll run really well and she's got blinkers for the first time which i like her in those race six the group one new market handicap uh, we have five runners headed by the top weight and last year's winner redkirk warrior um yeah he's held his form um, i think blinkers have turned him into a, an elite sprinter um, he'll have to be with the big weight got a great gate for him uh thrown him for mick d gate seven beautifully weighted in form trolled as good as you'll see up the straight going well first run for the stable fast net tempest ben allen gate 10. yeah he'll be one of the swoopers in the race um we've been really happy with him he's a horse I'm, i feel confident we can win plenty of races with and we're hoping he can pull a big run out fresh also first run for the stable sosie bond for mick walker gate 12. yeah much the same as fast net tempest um capable of running a huge race fresh uh, he settled in at Lindsay very well um, I, I think he's uh, going to springboard out of this race and be competitive in anything I run him in and look for him charging home late and catchy for Corey Parish gate nine uh, yes it, it, she looks like on form if you don't watch the replays that she's been well beaten the last couple of starts but uh, the Coolmore, an absolute forgive. She's got abs absolutely flattened and never took part when she was poised to run a blinder. And in the Oakley Plate, she jumped slowly, got too far back, was in an awkward position on the inside, but still ran sizzling sectionals to finish unplaced on the inside. 
which wasn't the place to be at that time of the day. Um, she's a fantastic filly um, that has a liking for the straight and should run well. In race seven, the group three over the mile, Samovair for Damien Oliver in gate one. Yeah, should get a, a terrific run and has bounced out of her last start, good second at Caulfield. Race eight is the group one Australian Cup, 2,000 metres, couple of runners, Ventura Storm, Regan Bayless gate two. Really good first up, got blinkers on first time, deliberately have done that and he's got to find a few lengths to turn it around on Galo Chop, but it wouldn't surprise me from gate two, get the gun run. He did run second to Winks, so at the track and distance, well over the odds. And we have Harlem for Mick Walker in gate four. Yeah, first up was outstanding, second up ran a shocker, um, had a little bit of mucus, that's cleared up, uh, drawn to get a very good run, um, uh, we're expecting a much improved effort. Race 9, the final event on the card over the 1100 metres for the three year olds, going for three in a row, Twilight Song, Regan Bayless? Yeah, going for black type, uh, track work here on uh, Monday was outstanding, um, should run very, very, very well. You got one of the two up last week, Dave. Uh, can we get a winner this week? Uh, I'm going to tip around the big races, but I think Zama, Zama there, uh, and probably Nessayim each way. Thanks, David. <laughs>